Y'all ain't laying no bodies on me, man. Lawyer time. Oh, he was my dog, man. I ain't sleep since They're I got giving the themselves bed. up. Looking up at me all bloody and shit. They have much love for me. Even They're then, I ain't never gonna find another. <laughs> they just sold themselves out. Man, y'all some cold ass motherfuckers, man. Got you on tape. My dog died, guys. This is ridiculous. So what happened, Jeeves? Uh, I thought he punked me, all right? So I did what I had to do. And maybe we can help you on this. How? You gonna bring him back? No, on the consequences. Help us help you. What? Maybe we can trade up. Oh no, he's still thinking that for what? Man? He he's for this? The fuck proposition, Joe. You give us prop Joe, and maybe we look at this whole thing with dog differently. Now why would I be talking about prop Joe behind? You know what, man? I don't even know no prop Joe. <laughs> okay. Dog. Which one of these is he? It's his dog. Are they still lost on this? Well, I left it, most likely. Warehouse on the east side. And he's still there? As far as I know. Let's the SPCA come around. My God. What? It looks like they're booking. I thought they actually did. I, I thought. Say, you really showed me something on it. For a second, I actually thought he confessed, thinking they got him on other things what too. Could possibly add to that, except I owe you one such. Oh my God! And they're all congratulating everybody. This is horrible. They're going to be so embarrassed, and they blew the wire. You ever have one of those heavy cake and eat it two days? I can't wait. I hope they I hope they show us at the end of this episode. Tell uh, me something good. Uh-oh. I think they already know. Improper disposal of an animal. Discharging a firearm in city limits. Animal cruelty, you want to run wild with it. Oh god, and everyone already left thinking they were right. Go ahead. Call me a cocksucker. You know you want him. Excuse me. You know, I actually looked up the stats on Gus Triandos. Power hitter, right? <laughs> oh, you already told the guys. Herc is a weirdo. He put that much thought into it, knowing that they'd fuck with him. Now it's even worse because he put that much thought into it. And he's just a pervert. Everything he does revolves around sex. And he's apparently got a wife or at least a girlfriend. Is she hitting on him? I was just going to say, is she hitting on Daniels? What? Oh, God, look at this guy doing the... <laughs> What's his name? He's pretty funny. What's his name? Okay, gents. I can't believe Perlman just hit on Daniels. You know we got a clean hand -to -hand. I was honestly thinking that. Someone told me in the comments that he's separated so, uh, from his wife. I didn't know that. But I guess it's okay then. Messages from Buddy Ferraro over at DPW, all assuring me that I'll have 20 radio cars back in service at the end of the week. Buddy and my old man go way back. Made the first communion together at St. Leo's. So he made good. Like a little baby. Kima is miserable. I said this since season one. They should not be together. Cheryl tied her down with a child and guilt tripped her into staying into this relationship. Horrible, horrible idea. It's one of those things like, let's have a baby. Maybe it'll fix us. No, it doesn't. Don't have babies brought into a world where you aren't even sure yourself. Who's that? Is that the cop? Oh my God, tell me that's Herx. Tell me that's the guy that was just doing the blowjob thing. Yeah. 
Oh my God, it's the guy on their team that I just asked the name of. It's... I literally just said, let me know his name because I thought he was going to be important. Just got the lease, so. Perlman? What is Perlman's angle? I guess she just likes Daniels. I thought she was like Chase. I thought I literally thought her and McNulty were going to have a thing. Again. Fucking solo cars. Should have teamed them. Fucked up. Dead ass motherfuckers. Dead. We catch up to him, you don't come in alive. Yeah, it's the guy. It's their guy. Clearly, is he? They're acting like he's alive, though. Is he dead? Make jugular. Shattered jaw. You live. <sighs> shot in the jugular with a shattered jaw. Right in the. They must have shot him in the fucking face. Throwing the beer cans on the roof. What they're not supposed to do, according to Rolls. Is Greg's going to cheat on Cheryl? What, is everyone horny this episode? We got Bunk hitting on the girl for McNulty to get with. We got Perlman and Daniels. Uh, Greg's is going to cheat. Greg's, and I don't even mind because she's in a situation she shouldn't be in and they need to have something drastic to end it. I did not see this coming at all. Oh, tell him I'm cooked. I'm just got done the hospital. I'm all in. Is something? If you can maybe talk to no, you don't want me talking to reporters right now. That would truly be unwise. All right, all right, I'll tell him. All right. What's going on here? Bunny, you look hellacious. Got any coffee going in there? You know what I was thinking? Well, tonight's a good night. Shot cop didn't die. The city is worse than when I first came over. So, what does that say about me? Could have been worse without you. Life. It oh, just. Come on, man. You're talking about drugs. It's not his fault. That's a force of nature. That's sweeping leaves on a windy day, whoever the hell you are. Yep. You fought the good fight. Yeah, no, you can't blame yourself. He's a good guy. I like this guy. I like Bunny. Bunny's one of my favorite this season. He's probably on my top ten. He's not in it much, but he's quiet and he's he's sincere. Not a call since we gave it up to cheese. <sighs> they blew their whole wire. All over a dog. As of this tour, all hand-to-hand -hand undercover buys of CVS suspended in the Western District. Oh, shit. Somewhere's... What is that? Back in the dawn of time... Is that a bottle of whiskey or something? This district had itself a civic dilemma. Epic proportion. The city council had just passed a law that forbid alcoholic consumption in public places. And on his way to the corner... He slips that just bought pint of elderberry into a paper bag. A great moment of civic compromise. That small, wrinkle ass paper bag allowed the corner boys to have their drink in peace and gave us permission to go and do police work. The kind of police work. That's actually worth the effort. I get where he's going. That's worth actually taking a bullet for. Dozerman, you got shot last night trying to buy three vials. There's never been a paper bag for drugs. Until now. I dig it. I dig it. He's saying, fuck the little guy. Ignore the little guy. If we ain't doing hand-to-hands, then what the fuck? Man, 
the shit with the bag? What the fuck is that? He expects Herc to understand that Herc is the biggest perverted moron in television. Bodie. Is something going to go down with Marlo right now? Ah. I was hoping we'd get something go down with Marlo before it ended. I thought like right there it was going to go out with a bang, but I guess they're setting that up for episode three. Crazy stuff happening. There's dog fighting. I despise that kind of behavior. Cheese acting like a baller. They did something with the rag. What is it? I don't know. It was either like some kind of turpentine or lighter fluid or some kind of chemical that was making the other dog not want to bite his neck because it probably tasted horrible or it was a chemical or something. His dog gets not killed. His dog was like still alive, but hurt. And then he shot him to put him out of his misery, I guess. But still, you're a piece of shit, Cheese. I hope Cheese dies. And then he's crying in the interrogation room like, oh, my dog, blah, blah, fuck you. You fucking, if you cared, you wouldn't make your dog fight, you piece of shit. But anyway... Cheese is a son of a bitch. I don't like cheese. We have Cuddy. Cuddy basically is doing manual labor. He's working minimum wage, trying to get by. I know that ain't going to last. It's one of those things that's going to last like an episode or two, and he's going to be like, fuck this shit. He's going to go back, and he's going to knock the shit out of that kid, probably kill him and take that corner. But we'll see where that goes. We got McNulty checking up on D'Angelo's suicide. But we all know that's not the case. I think he's sincere with D's old girl, though, who is now Stringer's, if Stringer is still hooking up with her, which he might not be. It's a year later. Then we got Daniels hooking up with Pearlman. That's interesting. Didn't see that coming. Greg's probably cheated on Cheryl. She looked like she was going to. We don't know for sure. And then we got Deuz Deuzerman, Deuzerman or whatever, gets shot in the face. And survived, but now they're making stricter rules. Bunny is basically saying we had them, we would stop them for drinking on the streets. They put it in the bag, we kind of turned an eye. We need to turn an eye to the small timers and go after the big dudes and not risk our lives over piddly shit. But then we had that guy that was like woof woof because the dog incident, he, they shot Peanut. I'm assuming all those guys were involved in the, the fixed dog fight. There were four dudes that died. We know for sure Peanut was involved. I'm assuming all of them were involved in fixing the dog fight. But I'm not positive about that. And then we have the cops arresting Cheese and pinning the dog killing on him. But they didn't realize it was an actual dog. So... A lot of stuff going on. A lot of people getting shot up in this episode. We know that he's better now that he can get visitors. So he's going to survive. But I'm curious to see what he looks like. Shattered jaw shot in the face. Jugular severed. Like we're talking some serious damage. He's probably, I, I mean, I would. it's doubtful he'll go back to being a cop. But maybe, I don't know. Greg's got shot up. But she was more torso shots. And it wasn't like something. I don't know. His face is probably going to look mangled after that. Oh, then we got in the beginning, Omar basically robbed Stringer's stash house dressed as the old man in the wheelchair. I thought we were going to go somewhere with that, but basically they were just like, yeah, Omar got us again, and that was it. But totally hilarious. I saw it coming a mile away, but it's always good to see Omar in that fashion. I might have missed some things, guys, but I'm going to end it at that. I don't want to talk too much, so you guys let me know what you think. Comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.